one today we are uh, this week we are celebrating what is called as a world uh, antibiotic awareness uh, week the most debated topic after the usage of cholesterol medicine is uh, whether there is an excessive usage of uh, antibiotic by the doctor fraternity or uh, there is a over, over the counter prescription of antibiotic by the pharmacist or patients wants a fast recovery uh, when they take antibiotics so to answer these are four or five questions one thing is very very clear there should be always an apt usage of uh, antibiotics either there not be a misuse or there should not be a disuse or there should not be overuse or there should not be an abuse so to have an apt usage of uh, uh, antibiotics uh, the physician is the pillar stone or the cornerstone to decide about to you say you usage of uh, antibiotics so whenever you have uh, uh, documented evidence of uh, infections i think that is the place for usage of antibiotics there is no place for usage of antibiotics uh, on a routine basis i have seen a lot of uh, my colleagues or fraternity using an excessive usage of uh, antibiotics that is a, actually a myth most of the patients think that if you start an antibiotic the recovery will be fast and definitely there is no medical evidence suggesting that you need to use antibiotics for simple viral infections so the first and most commonest uh, abuse of uh, antibiotics is in viral fevers so i am very clear whenever there is a documented evidence of or what we call it as an evidence based medicine i think uh, that is the only way that you should use uh, antibiotic otherwise i don't think so there's an there's no place for antibiotic usage so i want to tell you clear the air there is no place for abuse or use disuse or misuse of antibiotic i always use the word called apt usage of antibiotics so whenever you document an infection i think you should use an antibiotic coming back to the most important uh, topic once you take an antibiotic what are the a uh, ill effects what patient can have the gut flora what the good bacteria or what we call it as a gut flora in a layman term we call this as gu uh, gut flora or a good bacteria will die off using when you use an antibiotic so to prepare that to or to redeem your gut uh, bacteria you need to take what is called as a prebiotic so that uh, uh, the uh, good bacteria are replenished so what are the foods containing probiotics or prebiotics whatever it is it is milk or dairy products cheese or fresh vegetables or even fresh fiber which cause prebiotics so my recommendation is whenever you who take an antibiotics please see that you replenish your gut with a very good uh, dairy products or cheese yogurt or a fresh curds uh, is very very important so coming back to the my own topic of uh, diabetes and uh, antibiotics yes there are some good uh, uh, documentary evidence medical evidence that when you have a diabetic foot or pneumonia or patients is turning out to be a lower infection lower respiratory tract infections then only you can use antibiotics so diabetics you should be cautious because there will be variations of blood sugars or patients can have erratic uh, sugars so uh, any antibiotic usage should be apt usage and there's definitely i'm going to reiterate my point there's no no place for misuse the disuse or use or abuse of antibiotic both from doctors patients pharmacists or over the counter thank you one and all